The FBI is investigating a massive computer attack against the U.S. government tonight. Chinese hackers may have stolen private information on 4 million present and former federal workers. Their personnel files were raided. Many of them had government security clearances. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan just spoke with a senior member of Congress about the hack, and he's live at LAX with the latest. Dave. Lena Wan, just a few minutes ago, we spoke with a ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee who flew back here to California from Washington this evening. We talked about this attack on federal agencies, including what's called the OPM, the Office of Personnel Management, an attack which many believe has potentially serious national security implications. Federal cyber officials first noticed the hack of government servers in April. In early May, investigators confirmed hackers infiltrated the Office of Personnel Management, the clearinghouse for all federal employee records and the Interior Department. The four million current and former federal employees are at risk because the hack reached into databases containing what the government calls personally identifiable information, including job assessments, performance ratings, and training. Officials said the hack did not access information collected in background or security clearance investigations. They warned the investigation could reveal more federal employees at risk. The process of notifying those affected will begin next week. The hack occurred before the federal government installed new cybersecurity safeguards. But a new system known as Einstein, which decodes cyber attacks, was used to confirm the breach. Burbank Congressman Adam Schiff, the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, emerged from a flight back to L.A. and expressed his concerns about the cyber attack from China. Is this an attack on our country? Uh, I do agree with that. And we have now seen repeated attacks, uh, I think, probably in in our area here in Los Angeles, among the most uh, sophisticated and destructive was the attack on Sony. Uh, and we're in new and kind of uncharted territory. Just where does it cross the line into cyber warfare, particularly when it is either state-sponsored or state-subsidized? State Ironically, as the attack was making news headlines, a cybersecurity summit was underway at the L.A. Convention Center. Nearly a thousand computer security professionals attended the summit, which was hosted by ISA, the Information Systems Security Association. We're all about how do we get around, how do we get ahead of this freight train that's, that's out there. L.A. Chapter President Stan Stahl says the attack is a game changer. It suggests that, again, as we've learned over the years, that it seems like nothing, none of our information in our systems is truly secure. And it raises, it changes the game in, in many ways. Because you, you look at an event like what we're seeing announced today, you ask yourself the question, so if the government can't protect its information, what, what chance do the rest of us have? Well, Congressman Schiff also said he's concerned about how the U.S. responds to attacks like this, not just in terms of defending against these attacks, but perhaps responding more aggressively when there's a nation-on-nation -nation attack. We're live at LAX, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.